it's Cindy here from Your Kids OT. Thanks for joining me here today as I show you how to make one of these. This is a marble maze and I will get to the instructions very soon but I just wanted to show you what you can do with it. So it's just a piece of material with some channels sewn through and a marble sewn inside. So here's the marble and the child just uses their finger fingers to push the marble through the channels. Let me show you up here. Now it's a great way to encourage fine motor skills. You can encourage pinching. You can encourage separation of the two sides of the hand by having the pinching on top, just trying to focus it, and the rest of the hand holding the material underneath. It's good for bilateral coordination as the child can use both hands to manipulate it. And it's good for visual perceptual skills because you can create a maze in any, in any format that you want. So you just need a few supplies. You do need a sewing machine and some basic sewing skills. My skills are quite basic, but as you can see, it's mainly straight lines that you're sewing. So let me turn the video around and show you how to make one of these for yourself. To make one of these marble mazes for yourself, you just need some material and I've got some calico that I just had lying around and I would suggest that you used at least one solid side, one plain solid piece of material and the second piece of material can be decorative, I've seen lots of different colours used but for the purposes of the video especially I've decided to just use plain calico. Uh, you need a pencil and a rubber to draw your maze on. Uh, you need a ruler and a marble. Now my ruler is approximately the right size for the channel that I'll be using. So I'll be using the width of the ruler as well as using the edges. So obviously you need a marble and the size of the channel will depend on the size of your marble. So a pair of scissors, some thread and a needle and I've got some decorative buttons. If you don't have decorative buttons, you might like to just draw on a picture at the end. These are purely decorative. You don't need them. They're just a little bit of fun. So to start with, I've already drawn up, I've already cut out uh, some material and it really is up to you as to the size. Mine's approximately 21 centimeters by 24 centimeters and what I'm going to do is take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around the edge, putting my marble in before I finish before I finish sewing up the edges. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch just to prevent fraying, as I'm not going to turn my my maze inside out. If you want to make it extra neat, what you could do is sew the three sides, leave a gap, and turn it inside out. So let me take it to the sewing machine and let's get sewing. Don't forget to include the marble before you finish sewing up the edges. So trim off the excess string and I'm just going to trim my material as well just to make it more even. Okay, so once you've trimmed off the excess what you need to do is to decide on your marble pattern I mean your maze pattern sorry so in the previous one I did this sort of pattern where each of the four corners could be starting points and the marble could be pushed through from one button to the other and I thought for the second one that I make now I might start in the center and have the maze go out to the four corners so let's see how that goes. I'll just move the marble out of the way. And I'm, as I said before, my ruler is approximately, well, is a really good size for the channel. So I'm just gonna use my pencil to mark out a center. And I might do 
this and it really is up to you what your maze design is like. Let me know in the description box below if you need help coming up with a maze design. So I thought for this one we might go around, around from the center, around in a, in a around like a snake. Just keep keep drawing those lines to make the channels. And see, I've made a mistake here. I might just rub that bit out. It's the beauty of a ruler, that you, of a rubber, that you can change the design as you go. You don't want to make the channels too small, otherwise the marble will be really hard to push down into. change up my design here and have that channel end and then we can add some more we can add I'll just add that little bit and we might just change it here on the edge so that the marble can get through. So I've come up with a new design and I'm now going to do a straight stitch on, on my pencil markings. So now I'm just going to do a straight stitch along my pencil markings. So there we have it, completed fabric marble maze. Great little tool resource that OTs can use in their therapy bag when they're working with children face to face. You might like to make one for your child or your grandchild if you're watching this. It's a great little tool, a great little resource to help work on fine motor skills. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you give it a try or tag me on Instagram at your kids OT. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed a video like this and would like to see more. Thanks for watching.